Michelle Bachman is like the demi gloss of like <laughs> Wing Nutty. Let me warn you, you're going to hear excerpts from what may be the craziest interview in American political history. And if I use the terms craziest, Republican, and Congress, who else could I be talking about other than Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman? In the parallel universe in which she lives, this bill was not only a $787 billion payoff for Obama supporters, but also a total overhaul of the U.S. health care system. It is something no Democrat is even proposing. And a hijacking of the census and national gerrymandering to turn America into a one-party state. Why would Democrats bother to do that when Republicans seem hell-bent on doing it for them? Anyway, stand back. We have Bachman. This is the community organizer in chief, and he's paying off his best friend. Exactly. Who is Mr. Obama paying off? No, not Halliburton or Blackwater. That would be fine. No, it's ACORN, a community group that works on issues like poverty and housing. ACORN. This is a group that's under federal indictment for voter fraud. <laughs> ACORN. You know how much they're getting under this bill? Like four Five billion, billion, I've heard. Five billion, Five billion for ACORN. First, ACORN is not under indictment. Some of its individual temporary workers were charged with voter fraud, fraud in which the victim was ACORN. And second, ACORN is not even named in the stimulus package. I mean, even House Republican leader John Boehner, also known as Dan Aykroyd's stunt double, only accused ACORN of being eligible for grants in things like, gee, poverty and housing. Who else gets paid off by Obama? Entire congressional districts. The have-nots will be the Republican districts that are left pouring money into Washington, D.C. to be redistributed out to the Democrat districts, that, which will suck up all the money. I don't know where they're going to go to get all this money because we're running out of rich people in this country. Yeah, we are. We're run we are yeah, running out under, of rich under people. Under Obama, big evil is now anyone with a joint income of 100000 or more. I truly believe that's probably going to lower to anyone with a joint income of 65000 or more. But Obama makes more than 100000 And the district in Minnesota getting the most jobs from the stimulus? Michelle Bachman's. At least until Obama redraws the districts. The Census Bureau will report directly to the White House. Hey, for a community organizer in chief, that is the mother load of all data so that he can redraw all of the redistricting lines so that Democrats can control the, by a wide majority every congressional seat across the country. A, it was House Leader Tom DeLay, Republican of Texas, who redrew Texas. B, states do the redistricting. C, the census data is public. D, Democrats already control the House. Bachman's ignorance, perhaps explaining why she also fell for Betsy McCoy's canard about health care. So now we'll have a national rationing board, and your doctor will no longer be able to make your health care decisions with you. Now a rationing board will be making those decisions. I have no clue. And if by no, uh, now you're wondering whether she's utterly Orwellian or just unwell, well. Unfortunately, Republicans tend to just be nice guys, and they don't always fight back. And that's, that's one quarrel that I have with Republicans. Name three. As she neared the end, however, the congresswoman did manage to utter one thing both factually true and soundly interpreted. It is quick, so don't miss it. We are literally losing our country. Yes, congresswoman, you are, but don't blame Obama's governance for that. Blame your own. Uh, what does the Republican Party do now? How do you change a party when leaders like uh, Congresswoman Bachman and Governor Palin, uh, in, to some degree, represent what people have now yeah. rejected about that party? Yeah, you know, it, it's almost like I was thinking, it's sort of like, you know, it's like when you reduce a stew or something. This is like, <laughs> it's it's like each subsequent election, like more and more Republicans are boiled off until this is like, Michelle Bachman is like the demi gloss of like <laughs> wing nutty, you know, like she, like, and that's really what the House Republican caucus is coming to resemble. It's this very, very, very right wing uh, group of extremists.